Okay, we're on. Okay, let's go over our checklist. Sacred fire is roaring. Sacred fire. Well, I'm panning. This is, I'm trying a new technique. Okay, we're going to go over to our Kali Zen uh, setup over there. Our, our Shiva Shakti uh, shrine and the, with the Zen stuff. It's out of the frame. I got, got my Zen, my Zafu and my Zen uh, kneeling thing and my Zen pad. And then over here we got our our auxiliary shrine for our set. And then we have our flowers, sacred bong. We'll be saying more about the sacred bong in a little while. And then, hold on a second, hold on a second. And then we got the Dharma throne and we're ready to rock and roll here. Oh, I hope, the, hope that light doesn't ruin things in the back. Okay, we got a lot to do today, people. A lot to do today. So let's get into our highest consciousness. And, oh, okay. Okay. Shanti Om, we have a lot to do today. We got to rock and roll. Hold on, I set my timer. Seven minutes for seven chakras. That's it. And when this, I can't wait till my new Zen timer arrives. I know it's, it was 99 bucks, but, but this thing is worthless. It doesn't even go off when my seven minutes are. I'm going to put it over here next to the sacred bomb. I'm going to say more about the sacred bomb later. Um, okay, we're all we're good. We're good. Let me, get in, let me get into my highest consciousness and let's proceed. We've got a lot to do today. Today is uh, playoff Sunday. A lot to do today. Ugh. I know Linda McAllister is going to be going for the Patriots, and I think they're going to kill those Steelers. They've been so disrespectful to Tom Brady. It's very bad. Okay, this thing. I got to get a new robe, by the way. I'll talk, I'm going to talk to you about that and a lot of other things. Today we're doing step seven. Yesterday, step, hope this comes out. You know, yesterday I did a whole thing with step six. It didn't come out, which... Uh, is it was either a case of the hostile forces, you know, intercepting the, the, the transmission, or it was just the universe's way of saying, hey, this shit is boring. It is it's terribly boring. We have, to get through the, we have to get through the seven steps. By the way, people have been asking me, where are you getting this shit from? I'm getting it from a book called The 12-Step Buddhist. This guy is uh, trying to recover from Buddhism. Good luck. I, I used to, please, I, had a, I, I, was, I was addicted to Buddhism before I was addicted to assholeism. But uh, Buddhism is, talk about the stench of Zen, forget about it. Very, but the good news is there's a forward by Robert Thurman. Now, Bob Thurman lives right here in Woodstock. He's top notch, uh, Bob Thurman. I, I went to his talks on the, the Vimalakirti Sutra years and years ago. This guy is Bob Thurman. Can't be, this other guy, I don't I never heard of him. Dyron Little John. No, I don't he's struggling though with, with Buddhism. It's not easy. Um, okay. I like to start these sessions with a um, oh God. I gotta blow my nose. Um, with a few minutes of silence just so we can get centered, get grounded. Namaste and welcome to enlightenment for assholes. And this is part seven uh, of the of the asshole recovery program. By the way, my old guru, by good friend David Charantan Serlin, has raised a, a good question. I did the I, I did the 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 Kali Zen thing yesterday to explain what our path is all about. And he said, does the Kali Zen path replace the assholes for enli the Enlightenment for Assholes program? Absolutely not. You can't enter the path of Kali Zen uh, until you complete the, uh, well, first of all, you have to repeat, have to recover from your asshole addiction to being an asshole. Then you take the course and you become an enlightened Asshole, and you get a T-shirt. By the way, we're getting T-shirts printed up from the same the same people that that printed up our uh, XD Fest uh, T 
T-shirts a few years ago. Great people in New York. I'm going to plug them when I get the works in progress. They're called. Uh, they're going to print up our enlightened asshole T-shirts. I'm going to give out some honorary enlightened asshole T-shirts to people who don't take the course, like Francis Bennett. I'm going down to see him and his his buddy uh, Locke Kelly, not Locke Ness, Locke Kelly, at the end of the month to, just to do his the workshop down there on a Sunday. I'm going to present both of them with honorary. Um, enlightened asshole, because because Francis is definitely an, an enlightened asshole. I mean, this guy is great. Love Francis Bennett. Um, what else? What else? Oh, I'm taking. I'm, I'm calling for donations. I'm calling for donations. You know what? I have to get a new. It's time for me to get a new robe. And and this 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 robe. I just saw it yesterday. I was checking my. I always check my Dharma Wear catalog. You know, see what the latest thing is. Pure cashmere prayer shawl. Look at this. Pure cashmere. It's only 349 bucks. And the great thing is, it comes from Tibet. Nomads carry it over the Himalayas to the skilled hands of the artisans in Nepal. And it's designed specifically for meditation. It's nearly twice as large as the standard uh, shawl, so it will completely swathe, 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 swathe the body yet not slip off the shoulder. See, I'm having a problem with this. This, this. this is an old one. I had it for a few years. This is like, no, it's only fleece. It's not cashmere. I want to get the cashmere one. I mean, uh, yeah, the real one. Because this slips off the shoulder. You know, you're meditating and then the thing slips off the shoulder and pff, you ruin the whole, the, the whole, uh, you know, samadhi is lost. Anyway, you know, back in the day, speaking of uh, Chirantan, back in the day, what we call the golden the golden era of the SCC, we were rocking and rolling, and uh, we were there with um, Mahavishnu, John McLaughlin, David Deep, Carlos Santana, the Swanson brothers, they're still there, by the way. Uh, Andy Bro, Andy Cardenas saw them recently down at the Smile of the Beyond. I used to, a store I used to own, I started that store. It's still, it's still going strong, they're, they're, you know, they're rocking and rolling. Um, back in the day, you know, when the guru needed something, the word would go out, hey, the guru needs whatever, a car, you know, new running shoes, I don't know, weight lifting equipment. And then the disciples would pony up, you know, we would make what we call love offerings. So I'm asking for some love offerings, okay? No compulsion, no compulsion. Um, but, you know, back in the day, it was like, no compulsion, no compulsion. But if you don't want to get cancer in your next incarnation, you better pony up and... That's why I want to get enlightened this incarnation because I don't want to come back again because if I come back, I got so much cancer waiting for me. All kinds of stuff. I was a bad boy. Step seven. Oh yeah, by the way, my Shakti, Annie D, and I, we're performing a special tantric ritual later in order to ensure that our teams win. The only, only problem, it didn't work for the Giants. Hell with the Giants. But uh, I'm going for the Packers. She's going for the um, Falcons. We have a bet. Uh, yeah, you know, hope I win. And then, of course, uh, the second game. I think the second game is the, um, the Patriots against the um, the Steelers. The Steelers were very disrespectful for the Patriots. The Patriots are going to smack these these guys. Ben Roethlisberger is going to throw two interceptions. I, uh, with my occult vision, I could see. Ben Roethlisberger is going to throw two interceptions today. You mark my words, and then, then, then people will believe me. Okay, now, busy day today. I'm going down to see my, my one disciple. I've got one disciple, Solene, and she's in jail. I've got to go down and visit her today. And, uh, and by the way, Sri Clinton Nanda, the pot-smoking guru from Boulder, Colorado, is not my disciple. He followed my path for a little while, and I guess because of... The association with me, he got totally realized that he's now he's on his own, so he's not a disciple of mine. Solonay is my only disciple. I gotta go visit her. Then I gotta come back for the Rupert Spira is having a online satsang today. I'm gonna try to tune into that. I like Rupert, but he talks too slow. But I like him. He's great. He's, he's like pure, pure non-duality. Um, what else? Got got the games today. I have to cook. Okay, step seven. Humbly asked our higher power to remove our shortcomings. Uh, you know what? I think we're out of time. Sacred bomb. There's nothing wrong with smoking pot as long as you do, as long as you do it. In, uh, you know, 
in a proper way. This is a sacred bomb. This was blown in Woodstock by a very famous, uh, I think we're out of time, glass, glass blower um, here in Woodstock. And if it's blown in Woodstock, you know it's got to be good. Um, enough said. Okay, step seven. Let's skip step. We'll, go to, we'll work on step eight. I think step eight is better. And I don't want to do this guy's meditation at the end of the thing. What does he say? Do you see beyond the characteristics of the, of the addict? Is your job difficult? Do you feel that the self hears you? Do you ever talk to the, you know, I don't, I don't know. I think this guy is fucked up, but anyway, what are you gonna do? All right. I think we've taken up too much of our time. Send me, putting a donate button on my Enlightenment for Assholes um, website. You know, I need to, I'm not, I can't afford $349 for a cashmere prayer, sure. And this thing is slipping off the shoulder, this is no good. No compulsion, no compulsion, people. But remember, next incarnation, uh, I'm not going to say anymore. Go Packers. Go Patriots. Smite the enemy. Cast them down into the pit of hell where they belong. Oh. I need somebody here to turn this thing off when I'm done. <laughs> All right, that's it.